while I was uh, watching and then running, it was a, 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 a shower of bullets. Um, it felt like a war zone. A war zone outside of his place of worship. I thought fireworks. Uh, it, it just, it's absolutely surreal. There were too many shots. Chris Newfeld Ehrnman, the pastor of Davis Community Church, was just leaving work for the night when he witnessed a car accident happen right outside of his church. He helped the people involved and stuck around to give a statement to police. About 20 minutes later, he was pulling his phone out to take a picture of the crash. And I'm getting ready to push the button and I heard bam, 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 bam. And I turned and I, then I, I, uh, I, I saw the shooting. And he tells me he saw the shooter standing over the officer on foot, firing multiple rounds. Uh, honestly, with the number of bullets she must have taken that I saw, I couldn't imagine her living. But when I heard she was still alive, I had a hope that she might. He was able to run to safety and secure his church during the manhunt for the shooter. But 22-year-old officer Natalie Corona didn't survive. And this is a 22-year-old person who was loving her job. And I saw her loving her job. I watched her across the way as she was doing the things a police person is supposed to do. And despite witnessing trauma he will never be able to unsee, Pastor Chris came back to work to open his doors for an open sanctuary a day later. She just looked like the sort of woman you'd want to want to know and be good friends with. And, and so together we can grieve for the people who did know her and we can grieve for ourselves that we didn't get a chance to know her. On a day like today when there's um, a fresh wound, of grief, it's our role to open so that people can find a place of solace. In Davis, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.